This is BBC Radio Bristol with me, Emma Britton. It's Monday morning and it's 9.40. John Darvel will be here with the phone-in after the news at 10 o'clock. Now, today is Local Radio Day, a chance to celebrate your local radio station. And we've got some fantastic community stations in the BBC Radio Bristol area. 15-year-old Finlay presents his own show and podcast for Bradley Stoke Radio. Here he is broadcasting earlier this year. Afternoons on Bradley Stoke Radio with Finlay Ratnet. Hello, good afternoon. You're listening to Bradley Stoke Radio. I hope you're staying well during these strange times. My name's Finlay. I'm here to keep you company over the next hour or so. Got some great tracks lined up in today's playlist, but today's show is going to be a little bit different than what we've had um, over the last couple weeks. Um, So I believe that it's really important that over lockdown and, of course, the summer holidays coming up, because young people have been feeling lonely and a bit worried about what the future holds. I thought it was really important that young people and children had uh, support they can access online. Um, so I've put together a little document full of resources and services and charities, organisations that young people can access from home. So we're going through them in... Oh, what a star. 15-year-old Finley broadcasting on Bradley Stoke Radio. So for Local Radio Day, we wanted to get Finley on the show. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Um, Tell us how you first got involved with Bradley Stoke Radio. Um, So it's usually, well, it's been quite an interest of mine for quite a while. Um, Not quite sure what sort of part of broadcasting I was wanted to get into but um, um, just sort of found out there was a local radio station and I uh, emailed in a few times asking if I could just go in and sort of look around at the equipment and see how it all got put together and um, yeah I ended up with my own show. Fantastic and what did you make of the equipment because when I first started in radio learning how to do the equipment or drive the desk as they like to call it was the hardest thing it was it was harder than knowing what to say. Yeah, I mean, um, when you first see it, there's obviously a lot of buttons. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it didn't, didn't, take quite, didn't take that long, actually, to uh, get used to it all. Yeah, you're a lot younger than me, Finley. A lot, lot younger. Um, so what do your friends think of what you do, that you've got your own radio show? Um, well, lots of them are interested in sort of gaming. and I've never really uh, been interested in that. I've always been interested in sort of um, technical things and putting my own um, sort of film scripts together. Um, so, uh, yeah, they sort of like that I'm different and uh, do that sort of thing. So what kind of things do you talk about on your show? Because you've got a radio show and you've got a podcast as well, haven't you? Yes, they both um, sort of share similarities. So uh, one thing I like to talk about is young people's mental health. And I started in the, at the radio station um, in, I think it was June 2019. And it was sort of local news, uh, youth focus. And often I talk about um, mental health on the um, show as well. Um, and that's sort of just discussing how to get support and things. And then uh, after a while, um, in September this year, only last month, um, I sort of wanted to do something separate to the radio show focusing on young people's mental health. Um, so I started my own podcast, and each episode is about different topics that could be anxiety or uh, depression, self-esteem. And then for each episode, I talk about what it is, um, how to support yourself and how to get your support, and then maybe how to support uh, loved ones or friends that are suffering from that uh, too. And then I talk about um, online resources or apps that might be able to help young people with those issues fantastic and what do you get out of being on local radio what do you get back well first of all is a quite a really nice um group of people there's quite a few um at the station there's around 70 i know they have um, loads of volunteers it's amazing yeah and all the presenters have done a really uh, good job especially over lockdown as well and um, they're all doing it from home all making and finding time to do their recordings and sending them in so yeah it's really nice to uh come together and carry on entertaining the community and obviously during the pandemic the studios have had to close but you've continued haven't you all of you to produce your content yeah. and access things remotely why was that important to everyone i think well especially at the moment um when sort of people in the community aren't able to go out and especially the sort of older or more vulnerable people aren't able to go out and sort of get company i think a community radio station which is obviously more local to home is quite important so you can have and sort of hear other voices talking about the community. Yeah, definitely. And what is Bradley Stoke Radio doing for Local Radio Day? Um, so they 
are doing a show. I think they're doing um, sort of a history over the last 10 years of Bradley State Radio. So um, a mixture of different things that have happened um, over the last 10 years. Now, what's your dream job, Finley? What would you like to do in the future? Um, well, it's definitely going to be in the sort of broadcasting industry. I'm not quite sure where they, whether that's film, TV, radio, but that's definitely a direction I want to head. Well, thank you for being on The Breakfast Show here on BBC Radio Bristol. Good luck for your future and say hi to everyone at Bradley Stoke Radio for us, one of our fantastic um, local community radio stations. Cheers, Finley. Thank you. 15-year-old Finley there who presents his own show and podcast for Bradley Stoke Radio. Today is Local Radio Day. Local radio brings people together. It also acts as a friend, as a companion. We keep you up to date with things you need to know as well. And in honour of Local Radio Today, we are asking you to pledge to talk to someone. There's a survey that we're going to hear about shortly uh, that has found that 41% of adults feel more lonely since lockdown. So as part of Local Radio Day, we're asking you to make a pledge to talk to someone you haven't spoken to recently.